There are some amazing workings just down the hillside from here. Dude, let's keep on exploring. Sure. This, this, this will be just the start of the finds now. I think we could have found ourselves an open shaft. It's right here. Dude, dude, dude. this one goes. No, dude. These workings are ancient down here. No way, no way. Dude, it's an open shaft. That's deep, man. These, this, these are serious workings. They could be as, as much as 300 or more years. Yeah, old. right. When we started exploring here, I never thought we'd find anything half this good. And so this could be the deepest out of all of them, or it could be shallow, but there's only one way to find out. <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt here and it's Ben from Cornwall Underground Adventures. Today, we are not going underground. So basically, to find underground spaces, unless someone's already told you about them, you have to get on the ground to do some research. So Ben, where are we going? So anybody who has been to Land's End has seen Bartini Hill, even if they don't know it. And today we're going to actually go up and explore Bartini Mine. When we're looking for mines and we're looking for places to explore, obviously, really, we want to find places where we can get underground because that's what we do. So what we're we looking for, Ben, what we're we looking for on the ground. So we have got two features that we're looking for. We're looking for shafts and we're looking for tunnels. And we do have a little tip off. There is a tunnel that was explored in the 1940s. Finding our way into old mines is, is never easy. There are various challenges oh, that yeah. may appear at any time. And, and in this case, <laughs> I'm all right, I'm wearing my wellies. Ben, who almost always wears wellies, has decided not to. Oopsie. And we are faced with this disaster area. <laughs> Literally a bog. We've hopefully found a drier route up to the mine, but we've got a little detour. This looks quite interesting. So what are we looking at, Ben? So, dude, I think this is, I guess it's, this is Bartini China clay pit. Indeed. Um, and my guess, is this would have been working properly in the Victorian era. Day. I think it's beautiful man like who would fancy this in in March well yeah so so we weren't planning to do this today but the weather was too good and we've been meaning to come and explore here for a while so perfect conditions lovely to be out it feels like the first day of spring Ben is trying to find find our way for us which way do you think we need to go dude dude if we head just a little bit further here I don't know because it's saying that we can connect through there's definitely a path, that's what we've got. Um, I, rec I reckon this has got to be the way over here. Okay. I reckon this is the way. All right. Here we are into the burnt wasteland. So this is kind of looks like it's still working to our advantage. I mean, it's a tragedy that this happened. It was an accident. Occasionally these gorse fires are, are controlled and done on purpose, but as you can see, the vegetation is, is a shadow of its former self. So any mine workings in this area may be much easier to find. So we've had a look on the drone and the drone has showed us that there are some amazing workings just down the hillside from here. Um, so we're gonna go and try and find those for real. I think I can see them already, actually. Yeah, over this, over this uh, hedge just here should be our mine workings that we just saw on the drone. So you've got mounds just here. Yeah, look, and that's what this fence is protecting. Yeah. Let's get down and explore. Oh, dude, 
do? It is just a pit though. Um, it's a deep one. Yeah. No, I, I think that's cut into rock. Dude, dude. There's a tunnel, there's a tunnel. Yeah, yeah, there's a tunnel at the bottom, look. Wow. There is a tunnel, but that, that dark stuff is actually water. Yeah. I can see the end of it, dude. Yeah, it doesn't go very far. Ah, yeah, right, okay. Yeah, this is a this is a dead end just here. Wow. Now that that's what I think we're going to look for. If we head into there, we should find some underground workings to explore. Brilliant. I'm so glad we're not trying to bash yeah. into this undergrowth. The other thing as well, of course, is you can't tell when, whether or not these things are shafts and they're all overgrown. Yeah, exactly. So this actually makes what we're doing a lot safer. We can see what we're dealing with. So we got a tunnel. Awesome. We've actually got our first tunnel just here. Wow. Okay, so I can see, I can see the end for that. It doesn't go very far. So it doesn't go very far, but, um, but that tunnel there, that's the first real tunnel of the day, I think. But how old is that? Look at how narrow it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, th that narrow and, and this close to surface, it's going to be the, the oldest, the oldest workings, isn't it? So yeah. For sure. Dude, let's keep on exploring. Sure. This, this, this will be just the start of the finds now. So needless to say, folks, this is when you should be most careful. Because, <laughs> you know, you might not accidentally fall out of mine shaft, but you might do it doing something like this. Yeah. This is why you've got to be extra careful. It's definitely a tunnel. But guys, have a look at this. Look at that. What is holding those rocks up? That rock in the middle is suspended on nothing. Can you see that? Yeah. It's just the tension. Have a look in this tunnel. Oh man, it goes around the corner. <laughs> That's actually a tunnel that goes. How deep does that water look? Uh, over, uh, over welly. So often, guys, the, these trips are just wreckies. This is the first time we've been here, so it really is just a, a trip to see if there's any actual, if we need to get underground and what the nature of what we might need to do might be. So does that mean we need to come in with abseiling gear to descend a shaft? In this case, it might mean we need to come back with a wetsuit. This could be, this could be an old engine house here, guys. Wow, this is quite an amazing structure, actually. Yeah. I think there is records of the mine actually having an engine house in the 19, in the 1850s, sorry. Um, back then it was called West Wheel Virgin, um, as opposed to Bartini Mine. But um, nobody knows where the engine house was. Perhaps it was this. Um, certainly got pretty thick walls all around. Yeah. Um, but who knows, who knows? It's an old Victorian building, though. Amazing. Uh, that reminds me actually, there's a description that we read earlier on, didn't we, um, of a nine fathom level that we thought might be the attic level of the world. Yeah. Um, and so um, maybe that tunnel that we just found was, was the nine fathom level. Well, it's possible, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Look at this. Okay, this looks a lot more serious, guys. We've got a hedge all the way around like this. I think we could have found ourselves an open shaft. It's right here. Have we right. got the uh, the age-old method of <laughs> shaft identification ready to go? Everyone who knows anything about mine workings in Cornwall knows that these things are the best way to test a good open shaft. <laughs> so it's getting nice and close with this. Have a listen to this. This is the most satisfying bit. Don't fall down, dude. I mean, look at that. That's uh. Here we go. And there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds very wet down there. Um, I might see if I can see it from a different angle. Yeah, I mean, so it's clearly a shaft, but very, very flooded. That, that hit water almost immediately. <laughs> so here's another little pit with, we can see a little offshoot. So these are going to be ancient sort of surface, subsurface workings. You know, it'd be hundreds dude, of years old. Dude, this one goes. No, dude! Look at this. So they've obviously got this tunnel that insects the soil 
and the rab over here and then of course the the actual rock in the floor but look you can actually see the daylight coming in from another tunnel adjacent this isn't the first time we've seen this though we saw this at penzance consoles a few years back yeah didn't we? yeah it must which be which is uh is, despite the name is very close to here mm. that is fascinating we would have never found this years ago when the when the undergrowth no was way here. yeah never found this so I think we might have another mine shaft um, just here as well, but we have to get down there and have a look. These workings are ancient down here. There's no sign of any explosive blasting, which means they could be as up, as much as 300 or more years yeah, old. Yeah, right. Um, I can see some stacked deads above me over here, and inside it is, it's run in straight away. But if you pass in the camera, I can show everyone. So inside, we've got these workings here, and the walls are smooth because they've been hand-picked. There you go, dude. Brilliant. So check this out, I've got this lovely, wow. distinctive little, little wall. No way, no way. Dude, it's an open shaft. Look at the size of this thing, it's tiny. Yeah. Wow. That's deep. That's actually quite deep. And that's yeah. not water. Dude, that's deep, man. These, this, these are serious workings. Yeah. You wouldn't want to fall down there, actually. Well, what would you say, 20 meters? Yeah, yeah. Dude, that could be the nine fathom level. Yeah, but and not wet, not flooded. Yeah, that could be the nine fathom level. Brilliant. We, that's, this is stuff to explore, guys. Yeah, so this is the, the first thing we found today is actually like this, this is, could be a good reason to come back with our gear and actually go below grass. I can see the, the windstone. No way. Windstone right here. Look at that. Look at that, that is beautiful. So tell us about that then, Ben. So dude, this is called, um, this is called a melia stone or, or a millstone. Um, and that central uh, um, uh, uh, little hole just there, that is the axle point. Um, it would have, it's essentially a winch, uh, hence whim and it would have had horses walking around in a circle over here, um, winding in uh, hemp ropes uh, and actually using the shaft adjacent. So you've got the whimstone for the haulage and the shaft itself right next door. What an amazing place to find out here. When we started exploring here, I never thought we'd find anything half this good. What, yeah. I mean, you might, you, this must be, better than your best estimate. Well, in, in, indeed, and, and, and the thing is with mine exploration is, is more often than not, you don't find anything that leads anywhere. So, um, no, this is, this is great. So check out how overgrown it looks on the satellite images here. Um, we can see the shafts that are recorded on the Ordnance Survey, but no other details that we can see so clearly now. Um, but I think the plan is, because we, we actually haven't seen this shaft yet over here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to walk along the hedge, just here, and once we find this shaft, check its condition, um, we can then nip back over to the path, and then we're done for the day, we can finish. Brilliant, tea and medals. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we found what is this, a fourth open shaft, third, fourth open shaft? Yeah. And this one appears to be the highest up the hill, and so this could be the deepest out of all of them. Or it could be shallow, but there's only one way to find out. <laughs> you ready? We're ready. We've got the big one. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> and there, folks, you never know what you're going to find with these. It could be 100 metres deep or it could be 2 metres to water. There we go. At least uh, we don't need to go abseil kit out for that one.
Well, dude, I think that was a massive success, actually. Yeah, well, we've actually been talking about coming up here for a long time. Um, so we finally made it, and we uh, we basically explored the whole mine at surface, it seems. We, uh, we found some what looked up to be really ancient workings, you know, hundreds of years old. And then the, the what is probably the, the very last workings of the mine, the main shaft associated with that period. And, um, and that's when we can actually potentially come back and uh, get underground and have a look down. So yeah, massively successful. And dude, don't forget the shallow at it as well, underneath those horrible rocks. Indeed, uh, the wetsuit one. The wetsuit one, yeah. Uh, yeah well, Funny, I forgot that one, eh? <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> well, uh, well, folks, I hope you enjoyed our exploration today. We certainly did. And um, Matt, where can people find us if uh, they want to find out some more? Of course, yes. Yeah. So obviously, there's our website, cornwallunderground.co.uk. Follow us on Instagram, cornwall.underground. And you'll find us on Facebook as well. So like us, comment, get involved tell people about it give us a share and we hope to see you on the ground soon absolutely folks over and out